and here we have one of our neighbours and they've got two spaniels one of whom is a young one this one here and he's called Barney too and this Barney and this Barney like to be together but right now he can't be because he's behind the gate so my Barney here is like cold it's he's trying to sort of dig his way in to get with the other Barney and this happens every single time we go past yes it does doesn't it but no you can't Barney you can't sometimes I just wish I could <laughs> post him over the fence and leave him to it but um, that's not allowed so no you can't go and play with them sometimes no you can't play with them and now here's the other dog coming along this is mate he's a bit older and sometimes isn't too keen to let them play together. Look at him trying to break in. Yes, I know. Hello, you. And every time we walk past his gate, whether they're out or not, Barney always stops and waits to see whether his friends are out to play. One day I think I'll just lift him over and they can play together for hours and hours and hours, but I'm not sure if the uh, folks who own the place will be too happy about that. I'm sorry Barney, we can't uh, let you play with these guys yet. And there he goes again, trying to dig his way in. It's quite cold, it's isn't it lad? But come on lad, we can't, uh, I'm sorry we can't let you in there. But sadly I can't let you play with these guys. It's not my garden, so uh, we'll just have to drag him away in a little while and we can go and play in the park instead. And here we are coming up to another one of Barney's two friends. These are two old sheepdogs who are on a little path. Hello lad, how are you doing? I'm just pet him. Yes, I know. And Barney wants to come and play with them too, but he's not allowed to. You see, these two are uh, quite old, I think they're about nine years old. Every time we walk past, sometimes they're out and sometimes they're not. And Barney here always stops, has a little wait to see if he can find his little friends. I know, I know. Aren't oh, you good boys? Yes. As usual, Barney's trying to break in, trying to chew his way to the uh, steel bars to get in, but that's not allowed, I'm afraid, dog. Hello. You two are. In fact, I think these two are uh, twins. I think the brother and sister, from what I was told. About nine years old, and they're lovely, aren't you? Sometimes I say, sometimes they're out and sometimes they're not. But they get to play in a great big garden at the back of the house there, so they're very spoiled. There's Barney here, now we've got to move on to uh, the park. Oh, by the way, <laughs> over there is a little number six that was uh, painted on the letterbox, which Barney here pulled off last time we were here. Naughty boy that he is. Okay, well, I'll have to say goodbye to you now. Bye-bye. I was reading today about the five minute per month rule, which is to say that when a dog's young, a little puppy, you should only exercise him for five minutes for every month of his life. So if he's three months old, he should only get 15 minutes worth of exercise outside a day. Now, Barney here is now four months old, so in theory, he would only get, what, 20 minutes a day? <laughs> which is ridiculous because he likes to go out for hours on end if he can. But the more I thought about it, I thought, well, actually, when we are out, I mean, right now I've got him on his lead, so uh, that's not typical, but when we are out, it's very rare for him to actually do a little run or sprint somewhere. I mean, if he runs more than 10 seconds at a time before sitting down, I'd be surprised. Instead, what he does is he just sort of rambles along with his nose to the ground, sniffing away, picking things up like a womble. I mean, today he uh, found a dead mouse, which I managed to get out of his mouth before he chewed it all up, the little swine. Um, so maybe that's about right, but um, as I say, we actually take him out a bit more than that. But I also read that um, one thing you should avoid is stairs at his sort of young age, which is fine, we avoid that. And also running on hard surfaces like concrete or tarmac. And again, he doesn't tend to run on those surfaces. If he runs at all, it's always on this horrible, muddy winter grass. So I think it's pretty safe. And so far today he's been out for about 45 minutes this morning and now we've been out for about half an hour. So as I say, in all that time he sort of very rarely breaks sweat. He doesn't exactly uh, put himself out or run around a lot. 
So now it's ambling back along this park uh, track here, this little path, and we'll soon be home again where we'll have a cup of tea and he'll have something to eat and no doubt then he'll have a little afternoon nap until tea time. And now here we are back home again and Barney's about to have his little afternoon nap. And now since Barney's getting too big to be comfortable on my sofa, he now prefers to sleep over there on his blanket in the corner. So I think we'll leave him to go off to sleep. So thanks for watching and cheers.